Morning everybody. Fat Steve on the promenade. Just uh, managed to catch a glimpse of a mandatory ambulance. I think it's probably just about eight o'clock. I'm just gonna drive over this crossing by the Imperial. Um, it's cloudy, it's overcast, um, but it's warm. And uh, it doesn't appear to be much wind. The sea's looking as calm as a duck pond again. I think the tide's fully in by the look of it. Well, the early morning tower shot down there. So I said I'm only here because I could see the ambulance flying up. I just whipped the camera out quick, but I only got it after it had passed me. It's, hmm. <laughs> it's well, it's that awkward thing again. It's uh, Tuesday. I'm to clear the day, and uh, I'm only just up and only just out. I'm going to Premier Inn, I think. I've not been for a while. So, I'm in the Premier this morning. Um, I've not been for a while. I've been, um, not had much money for the last few weeks. Things are a bit better today. we got the tram just over there, heading up. And I've got, I chuck, got my first bit of breakfast, which is, Strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries. And we're uh, going to put a bit of yogurt on it. Got black coffee. And we've got some pouring cream. Oh, the height of luxury, folks. So, there's the trilogy over there where I managed to get in the other night. Last Friday, I had a good night out. Um, filming the pubs and clubs. I'll catch you all later. Some of the boys are there, keeping well. They'll be all right. You all right, boys? <laughs> the Job Centre Plus, part of the Department of Work and Pensions. One of our street cleaners, keeping us all clean and tidy. Now we've got a little cycle lane here, I think. It's strange how different it is in the morning and the afternoon and the night, evening and the night even along here. This is um, no entry now except for taxis and authorised vehicles and buses. Oh. I've got a mandatory tram up there. I don't know if I've caught one or not, I can't remember. Oh, we've come out right on the crossing, that's handy. Man here doing his job. I'm on. One of the traffic wardens is here doing his job. Eyeing up this car. I'm not filming because I know him. I'll get across this crossing. Yeah, he says he's having a bit of work done. So the sea's quite calm, yeah. We've got a double tram shot. That's one car. Cheers, man. That's not bad for only one to just drive up past me and ignore me. We've got these two trams here. That's the Stargate tram, just on its way any second. And this one's going into North Station. A nice tower shot there. usual wedding chapel and the uh, tourist information it doesn't appear open yet beach house got some deliveries again just tucked behind the door and a really 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 quiet comedy carpet 
and seafront this morning. For a change, there's not much not much wind for a change. The sea is as calm as a duck pond again. Get up here, then we could see it a bit better. Got some reefs here for somebody. Oh. Loving memory of Mike Pomfret. Hmm. Oh, we've got one of our seagull friends here. Let's see if he'll talk to me. You right, kid? How are you? You look like a bit of a baby, don't you? Are you alright? You're not nervy, are you? Hey? <laughs> yeah. I'll see you later. Keep safe. We even worries about the seagulls. Except when they swoop down and try and nick me lunch. Tidal information, I've never noticed that. I knew it's for Sunday. <laughs> Yeah, looks like it's just going out, and it really is like a duck pond. So I'm heading down the ramp now onto the lower prom. I'm still not sure if that's coming in or out. Actually, it looks like it's coming in here. Well, I don't know. You never know. Some vehicles outside the lifeboat station. Somebody in the sea over there. This is looking, uh, can't tell how soft that is. It looks a bit dry and a bit soft. I don't know whether I can risk it or not. Yeah, I think that's too dry. There's some wheels there, but I don't know if it's a pram or a scoot. Yeah, <laughs> get me out. <laughs> yeah, it's too dry. <laughs> lucky, lucky. Yeah, there's a man there in his shorts. I don't think you'll see him very well from here. So it's too dry and too skippy, too slippy. Right, what's going on here? Oh, that's a good shot, isn't it? We've got the lifeboat station with the tower behind it. And there's something going on here. I don't know what. Looks like there's some fancy aluminium ramp. Oh, oh, it's a boat trailer. It's a big boat trailer. I think. They're doing some work on. So they must have used the crane to lift it out, I would think. Yeah, these bands are the engineers, and we can actually get in there now, well, we can actually see in there uh, the big tractor that they used to pull the uh, lifeboats out. Now, looking at the rig they're working on, that's got um, one of the ribs on it in there, so... There's the sea life. It's 
just circumnavigate these weird things again. We've got a mandatory police car. Funland. Deck chairs are all closed up. And these weird sea monster things that still don't know what they are. It doesn't even look finished. We'll have a little look down a quiet central pier, I think. So I'm just here at Central Pier. Oh, it's not even open yet. The gates are shut on that side. I don't know if they're shut on the other side. Mm, open a little bit, but I don't think it's open officially. There's a police support vehicle there for something. Candyland's open. So that big building there has been a few things over the years. Um, back in the day there used to be like a Doctor Who exhibition underneath. And it had a TARDIS on, on this side. I think these are shut. These have gone red now for them. Yeah, so um, we've still got an England flag out. So this is tower gifts, souvenirs, all sorts of stuff. So as you come across the shoe seller that was on about the other day, that used to have a TARDIS somewhere around there. Um, I think it's where that bit is. You went in and there was a Doctor Who exhibition. There's a smell of trans fat down here, I don't know where it's coming from. Let's shoot up the back. Bonnie Street, remember all this is due to come down soon. So, uh, private security um, up there the other day. So it's probably so that the uh, Police don't have to keep going check on on it. The PCSOs. So this whole area is due to change soon. Let's see. Carry on with the different phases of what we're building here. I'll probably be dead and buried by the time it's all finished. Got the giant parrot up there. Giant parrot. Coral Island and the tower. So spin round here and do the trip up past Mackey's and the shoe zone. See what's happening. I said there were people out, I think, yesterday when there hasn't been for quite a while since the change of government. So as usual now, I'll knock it off here and start again from here. But uh, it should just flow, I think. Um. 
Hopefully we got that full to flow and I don't have to edit it. I'm going to do a video soon showing you how much work sometimes I have to do just to get 30 minutes or a bit longer video. We've got one outside here stretched out on the floor. We've got one man having his breakfast. Not many in Mackies this morning, it's quite quiet. I don't know him, so I don't know who he is. I keep getting criticised for calling them names, but people don't realise that I know the majority of them. This one again, I don't know. So sort of possibly from out of town. Um, although it's Tuesday, so I don't know why why you, somebody would come out to sit on the scrounge on a Tuesday. Nobody up there. They certainly haven't slept there. They're certainly not from here, I don't think. Otherwise, I'd know them. The boys are not out the back of there yet this morning. It's a bit expensive, but lots and lots of stuff. So Victoria Street's quite quiet yet this morning. Keeping us clean, keeping the streets clean, good guy. Most things are open now, I'm not sure of the time. It's my first real little runabout. I think, I can't remember. I may have been out earlier. Bob and Burt's. <laughs> Still not tried it. Well, it's 9.45 and uh, I've just missed a shot of a seagull dive bombing somebody's food again. I wish I might set up a tripod <laughs> and leave it running all day because it's two or three times a day now people's getting stuff taken off them along here. I'll be back in a minute. Well, it's just 10 past 10 and uh, the fountains are looking good this morning. So we're halfway up Church Street, nearly where I was the other day. Furniture Lounge, William Hill. Cashes just over the road. And uh, let's have a look down here. Well, this is a big car park they've made here now. I can't remember what used to be there. That used to be Stewart's Radio donkeys years ago. There's that big conference centre that I passed the other day. Professional Darts Corporation. There's the old doctors. So we're on street. I don't know which street. Can't remember what it's called. So here used to be a huge government building, which I think was Children's Social Services. I'm not sure where that's gone. Um, and just to the left used to be the marriage chapel. Um, that's a weird little area. Yeah, this uh, 
this was a big government building and here used to be the registry office and Blackpool Council housing used to be just in this space it's an old car park now we got married here a couple of times <laughs> there's not much of it left I think these used to be flowers at the front well, that was the entrance I think there so for a long time I've been looking for an old Pablo's ice cream factory which used to be down one of these alleys I've rooted and rooted and rooted and couldn't find it what's this? never seen this, where am I? Fleet Street, oh it should be printing newspapers down here GW Org, so that's a Jehovah's Witness Church, I've never found that before I didn't know there was one here, I knew there was one at Cleveland. So this is an alley, but I don't think it's the one that I was looking for. What's this car park? Not sure what used to be here. It doesn't go right across, it does. It does. This lady might know what used to be here. What used to be here, do you know? No, All right, Chuck. It goes over there. I think I passed it. I think that's Holmby. I think I was going to the uh, park. So I'll probably film this from the other side then. So a little look down this alley. I said, I don't think it's the alley I was looking for, but uh, you never know. Yeah, what I was looking for was a Pablo's ice cream factory. Where it was down one of these in the 80s where I was down there I don't think it's that one and I got I was in a big furniture wagon and I got stuck when I was about 18 so it would have been 78 ish and I had to I was that embarrassed I had to ring my brother to come and get the van out the alley because I couldn't get it out so we're coming up past Grantham's now Still going. The wash bright. This has got that little loop round alley that I went in a few weeks ago when I was doing the Snicket Sallies and Ginnells behind this building. That's been a furniture shop years ago and whiskeyonline.com now. That wind's just got up. There's been no wind all morning and it's just started now. Got somebody in my scooter shed, so I'll have to just pull over and see if it's a cat or a bird or a person. I'll be back in a minute. I'm on Coronation Street. Tower over there. So I'm just crossing Coronation Street. Heading down to Central Drive on street with no name. <laughs> I've just got an email about uh, my rent, so I'm heading down to the council to find out how I can get that to them. So we've got the back of the old police station there as we come down onto Central Drive. We'll do another little run up past Mackinnies, see if there's anybody outside Mackinnies or shoes on again. Well, you've just done that, you know. So it is. Busy working, getting all his stock out for the day. And there's that funny ramp again on Vance Road. Oh, good God. We've got the castle, a pub still that I keep saying I've never ever been in. 
chest shock. Casino over the road. Whole road. Oh God, he's bumping. Mandatory William Hill. And Albert Road. And this one's gone from here now. And the one up here, she's on, still there. So I said I'm straight up the street going to the council offices. I'll be there in a minute. Is he out? Tower Dungeon Man? No, he's not there. Alright, cheers man. So I've had a couple of people stop me this morning about my videos. All nice, all polite, all like them. None of them wanted to be filmed. Andy's setting up again. And we're straight off with a walk of life again. Excellent. Now, as I say, I'm coming up to go in the council offices and uh, after the trouble last year, they've been okay with me. The uh, security staff are always cool, always good. It was just the uh, universal credit staff that were a bit snotty and acting like an arsehole, one of them. But all that's been put to bed. I slowly make my way past B and M. Hey man, you're right. You're not on. <laughs> There's that eat Indian everybody keeps talking about. It's, uh, I can't really try it without ruining my diet. Looks like some people heading home here after a weekend in Blackpool. Right, let's shoot up here to the council. Oh, God, God. Scaffolding looks, oh no, there's still a van here, so it's still probably not finished there on uh, Lloyd's Bank. But our little flower shop's open. Right, so it's took round here and dive in here. So we'll dive in the council and uh, try and give them this letter. <coughs> Fifteen minutes later. So it's about half eleven, I'm just heading up Church Street and trying to make my way back home. Um, I was going to give a little ride around some of the streets um, 
I got so far and got an email that I had to take to the council. So I've been and sorted that out now. There's quite a few people about. Mate's shop's not open yet. No fakings, no beggars, no trouble up to now. This morning. And Winter Gardens got his doors open. Empress. Freshly brewed tea, coffee, hot, cold beverages, delectable snacks in the floral hall opposite the Entr Empress Ballroom. So I was chatting to somebody yesterday and the one that um, used to have the piano playing, they don't open that now apparently. And it's all part of the pub bit next to it that I was in last week. So I've been up and down here a few times this morning, I'm sorry for that, it's just the way it is, I keep trying to escape. And, um, the little lady that chats to me outside Costa rolled up with some sort of... Um, her phone was transmitting music to a little speaker on a scooter. and. Uh, it was a bit noisy, so I've had to come away from there. I was fortunate I've left two of my friends to listen to it, but <laughs> it's not me, and nothing much I can do. Um, the lady's just a friend, she's not a client or anything. And uh, she just likes her music when she's out and about. Um, why she doesn't get headphones, I don't know. So I'm just at Abingdon Talbot, I'm going to take a right, head down here, it's Tuesday, not quite 12 yet, but nearly, it'll soon be Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> I don't think there's anything I need from anywhere. I had a big breakfast, I'm quite stuffed. Um, oh, I forgot to mention yesterday for uh, some of his uh, likers, is Reggie was back, sat in his little corner yesterday. If I find him this morning, I'll treat him. Um, he got so many hits when he got arrested. People that like him and get on with him. I just thought I'd mention it. He had a few haters, but don't we all? So we've got the tram now, which is driver training. That's keeping the lights on red. In fact, I'm going to try and sneak on the pavement here and go around. Right, who's along here? Nobody, I don't think. Yeah, he's there, so I'll go on the road, trying to avoid him. Uh, I'm hoping Reggie's here again this morning. I'll give him a fag. So, there's been no wind all morning, but for some reason now it's blowing down here on Dixon. So, I'm just outside Funny Girls. So, if I don't get back, it's goodbye now. So... Hang on, I might see if Reggie will speak. I think he's here. So I'm just opposite the man bar now. I'm just cutting over to the pavement. The man bar's looking quiet. And here he is. You alright, man? Yeah, man. I'm filming them and talking to you. Is that alright? Yeah. You, you caught? Sort your fag in a minute. So I'm just sat with Reggie. He's back. He's back in his little corner now, as long as he don't cross the road, he's all right. <laughs> Are you all right, man? How did you cope with it? It's all right, mate. You had a lot of people sticking up for you, you know, oh, on, no, on YouTube. Everybody was coming out of the pub and everything, wasn't there? Yeah, no, on YouTube, on, on that video, well, yeah, and Facebook. Yeah, 
It's uh, right, I'll leave it there and I'll sort it in my sink. I'll catch you all later. Fat Steve Spice Heads. A few hours later, I looked through the list of uh, people that weren't allowed to comment and I couldn't find the ones that I knew. I didn't know if one of the moderators had deleted or blocked them or not, so I unblocked everybody. So I've had a few trolls again today that I'd already blocked that I've let back on that have started trolling again. So I'm sorry I can't remember the names of who I've been looking for but you used to come on on the um, premiers and comment and I just as I say if I've upset you I'm sorry if you have been blocked from the channel some way that I don't know about um, please go to if you can watch it but can't comment please go to Spicehead's Facebook page where you can message me directly um, without interference from YouTube and then if I can make contact I can try and figure out why you're not able to watch um, or comment on my YouTube videos anyway I'm just coming up to the back of Imperial I'm starving I'm going out to try and get a bit more so I'm just at the uh, middle of Queen Street uh, it wasn't too bad this morning. This climb is quite too bad now. You probably won't hear me till I get around to the strand. I'm just heading out for my evening Costa. It's probably close past half past five now. police car over there but he's probably in the back of in the third floor of the council you'll get that wind again now I guess oh it's not too bad yet oh I don't know town hall doors are open so there must be some christenings today I think uh, sorry not christenings birth, registered births marriages and deaths I think it's still done in that part at the council have probably gone home now the guy that came out to me was very courteous and respectful this morning he's worked there a long time give me some interesting information about the transition from uh, ESA to uh, Universal Credit which we're all dreading but apparently people on ESA with um, to get SDP, Severe Disability Payment, probably won't be transferred for another few years. It was supposed to be 2024. Um, let's just see if I can get around here without... Um, so that's good. Um, I possibly will be fully retired by then. So I'm just coming up to Costa, I'm going to leave it there and uh, go and have my brew, I'll catch you all later. So it's just half five, we've got the dome and the tower, I think the dome's due to be taken off soon, if they do do it. Um, I can't film that way, there's a little kid looking at me directly, I'll have a little loop loose down there. Well, this kid's gone now. So as you look up the street, there's one on a crutch there, chatting to some woman that I think was, I don't know if she were begging or chatting to somebody earlier. I'm not sure. So I'm going to uh, sit and have me, have me Costa. I'll catch you all later. So my little mate's back with her pal. Sat there, I'm just sorted in my fag. We've got that wind again. Sorry, folks. Not a lot I can do about it.
and it's gone, but it is gone half five now. I think Primark's probably going to be shut, so let's just move out of the way of these. Got a kid on either side of me, I can't block them both out. Oh, he's still here, they mustn't shut. I thought they shut. Hey, they didn't call you a paedophile. You're doing well. Yeah. You're doing well, man. <laughs> so this is antisocial behaviour from young children, probably nine or ten years old, insulting staff outside Primark. I thought you were short. Oh, he's at it now. Yeah, Prime R2, TK Maxx, and Heron Fears Bank Cage is a bit Look at this shot, folks. We're outside the show and party venue, the Viva, and these side doors are open. Look at that, nice chandeliers down there. Oh, there's that band again. I forgot what they're called. Uh, 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 I don't know, they'll probably go a long way. Sound a bit Swedish to me. Catch you all later. Fat Steve, Viva. Ah, oh, cream jelly so I can't speak proper. I've just had another little TIA. And my mouth's drooping a bit. <laughs> and uh, my eyes drooping. I'll show you in a minute. I have all these kids everywhere. Ah, uh. oh, there. <laughs> well, that's funny, isn't it? No, it's not funny to most people, but I'm used to them. I probably have three or four a day now. A slightly worse one than I normally have. I'm more or less recovered now, but I'm going to try and head off. Um, so for now, it's wasn't brought on by anything, just came right out of the blue. Um, so for now it's Fat Steve, Spicers, um, Church Street, I don't know what time all day, I'll catch you all later folks, keep safe.